Alright guys, today we are going to be watching The Cougar Epidemic, young men dating older women. Personally, I'm on the other side of that, alright? Young young women dating older men, mm-hmm. But I'm interested in, in what's going on here. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> okay guys, my editor told me I need to do like an intro. This is my intro. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello! <laughs> Guys, what do I say for my intro? Today we are watching the cougar epidemic young men dating older women with a Twitch chat. Let's go! Yeah, chat, say hi to YouTube. Everyone say hi to YouTube. Let's go! Look at that. Chat, so welcoming to the YouTube. All right, chat. Let's learn what the hell hagmaxing means. Thanks to various social and economic factors and the rich evil pedophile clowns that run our gay retarded government, the American <gasps> dream of owning a house and having a- Whoa, what? Chat, what did she just say? That, that hit me in the face like a ton of bricks. Whoa. <laughs> A okay. wife and two kids is dying. And the Zoomer Coomer fantasy of a rich older girlfriend taking charge and making you chicken nuggies while you play video <laughs> games in your pajamas all day is thriving. Back in my day, we called this cougar hunting. Or, you know, mommy issues. But the kids today are calling it something different. Hagmaxing. <laughs> last video, I jokingly referenced the term hagmaxing. You chat, I'm all, we're about to learn what it means. Everyone focus, pull out your pen, pull, pull out your paper, write this down. I've been on a date with a 40 year old. Okay, write that's this down. different. I was... How is that different? He's right, it's different. You're robbing the cradle, he's hagmaxing. Educate yourself. Which greatly intrigued a lot of you. So I decided, you know what? I am going to make an entire video dedicated to covering this phenomenon. Gen Z men going out of their way to 35 year old women, single 21 year old men with no, <laughs> with no interest in life. Loki, I think I'm into that too. I, I get where you guys are coming from. Date older women. What is this? Why is this happening? Is this happening? And if it's happening, is it a good thing? Or is it a symptom of broader societal issues? Why are all these young whippersnappers scooping up these older timepieces? Oh, um, speaking of timepieces, let's quickly get into today's sponsor, Holtzkern. Fuck! Back in my day, we had our epic bacon and raffle copters, and we were happy. <laughs> now, when I think of the term hag, I usually think of an evil cackling witch. But no, apparently now it means women above 30. Fuck you guys. I'm so Bro, 30 is so young. Also, yes, what I was envisioning hag is like a disgusting old, like crippled old lady, like witchy. I was so confused when women were calling themselves hags. It's like, oh my God, why are you, why, why are you insulting yourself like that? So tired of comments that are like, I used to watch you when I was in third grade and now I'm graduating college. <laughs> Good for you, awesome. Congratulations, my knees hurt when I get up off the floor. <laughs> now this term hagmaxing went viral a few months ago with this screenshot. Meet the hagmaxers, oh. Gen Z's new social trend of dating older women. A very strange phenomenon is making its rounds on social media. Gen Z men are ditching casual sex with their women to pursue long-term relationships with financial might as well oh scramble my God, those gen z's new social trend of dating older women they're ditching casual relationships to pursue long-term relationships with financially stable and experienced ladies but what's wrong with that bro that makes complete sense why would you want to date like just another 20 year old bum with no money when you could date like a sexy experienced woman with money that that's why i date older men that's a good deal bro that's a good deal i'm not seeing any down downfalls here i'm glad men are are going for it older women a very strange phenomenon is making its rounds on social media gen z men are ditching casual sex with their women to pursue long-term relationships with financially stable and experienced millennial ladies now even though this article doesn't actually exist it was a meme created on 4chan because of course it was but the meme did spark a massive conversation and debate about about hag maxing. And people had a lot of strong opinions about it. Motherless behavior. <laughs> this is just mommy issues rebrand. Another day, another psyop. It's not hag maxing, it's milf hunting, and it's an art. 
Please don't misappropriate my fetishes, giving the dumbest name known to humankind to having a mommy kink. I mean, to be honest, I'm 16, waiting for a 20 to 25 year old okay, to pick me that's up, against LOL. The law, okay, officer, buddy. I'm gonna throw up. I would love to have a 40 year old sugar mama who buys me gifts and pays my bills. Drizzle, drizzle. Young hard dicks and the older women who enjoy them. This isn't new. Hagmax bandwagoners are so cringe. I've been hagmaxing since second grade in Miss Johnson's class. Uh, <laughs> I am going to kill every last Gen Z and Gen Alpha kid on this planet, including myself. I want to be a hagmaxer, lol. Any female taker, xd. I like thick milfs and I cannot lie. Oh nice, it must be socially acceptable for 37 year old men to date 20 year old women again. Whoa, 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 let's uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Absolutely not. <laughs> ah, I f***ing love adult women. <laughs> women over 32 should be illegal. Now, according to the very astute- oh. Over 32? Bro, I'm like six years away from 32. That's not that long. That's not that long. Always reliable source knowyourmeme.com. The term hag maxing is very popular in the VTuber community. Now I- Oh my God, that is fucking embarrassing. The term is very popular in the VTuber community. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't have much interest in the VTuber community, um, but they seem to have a lot of interest in me. A lot of interest. <laughs> Should I do a video react? Oh my God, guys, I am- <laughs> She's literally showing how people are reacting to her videos. We're reacting to her reacting to VTubers reacting to her while I'm a VTuber reacting to her. Reacting to VTubers reacting to me one day. That might be fun. Let me know if I should do that. Although it seems to be a meme amongst the VTubers and the weebs, it is apparently a thing happening in real life. Rise of the boy toy. Why older women are dating Gen Z men at record rate. One woman stated, women my age seem to be excited by the freshness and lack of bitterness that comes with dating someone younger. Younger men seem more open and less burdened by insecurities. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to be saying this like a hundred times in this video, but could you imagine an article like this with the genders reversed. I love dating these young, fresh boys. Uh. They're less bitter. <laughs> they have less baggage. They're not ran through. People would just be calling it red pill incel sh**. Age gap relationships between millennial women and Gen Z men are on the rise. Our analysis of age hypogamy reveals the pragmatic underpinning of these relationships. It sometimes yeah. comes down to who's available. Many older men prefer to date younger women. The same is true for a lot of older women with millennial and Gen Z men emerging as a people dating options. For their part, many Gen Z men might have few opportunities to date women their own age, or prefer to date so? older women for various reasons. Enter millennial women. And I'm proud no. to be a millennial <laughs> with my side part and skinny jeans. If you're an older <laughs> Chat, I can't with millennial humor. That's my thing. It's like, yes, okay, you guys want to date like a sexy hag? Well, that's their humor. How fun when they send you TikToks and it's just super not funny, super cringy TikToks. <laughs> Can't wait to date a hag until she sends me minion memes from Facebook. Exactly. If you're an older millennial woman, you might be attracted to younger men for their energy, inclusive views about sex and gender, and superior care and literacy about their partner's emotional well being. In many ways, Gen Z men see millennial women as an opportunity to level up emotionally and socially. With their evolved attitudes about everything from non monogamy and gender fluidity to the anti hustle soft life, Gen Z men may be the most likely generation to overturn powerfully entrenched stereotypes about sex and relationships. The kind featured by podcast bros. I love how millennial women have just saw- Who wrote this? Didn't she say this was made on like 4chan? <laughs> It's just a bunch of bullshit, basically. I up themselves into believing a man who thinks f***ing a whole bunch of different women at the same time with no romantic commitment is an evolved way of looking at relationships. Like, yes, queen, that Zoomer you're banging is so open-minded and progressive. He's not like those podcast bros. <laughs> I swear modern <laughs> feminism is like the greatest trick men have played on women. Like just a bunch of dudes got in a room one day and were like, hear me out. We convinced them 
that getting naked and sleeping around is empowering. Yeah. Genius. Even Hollywood seems to be hopping on the hag maxing train. Why are so many older women dating younger men in recent rom-coms? I'm old enough to be your mother, sighs Anne Hathaway, as she passionately entwines with Amazon's new heartthrob, Nicholas Galazine, what? in the idea of you. Oh, Anne Hathaway? I'm sorry, who wouldn't hag max with Anne Hathaway? Like, <gasps> what a forward whoa. young man you are! My goodness! Yo, this phenomenon is a groundbreaking shift, considering Hollywood's reputation for perpetuating the male gaze and old men's uncanny obsession with younger women. You know, I, I really don't care about this shit, but it is so funny how much of this equality stuff is just okay. Now it's women's turn to do the thing we said was bad. All the new strong female leads in movies that are just kind of assholes. The celebrating of billionaire female CEOs. Like, did you actually want change? Or was it really old just penis envy? Older women partnering with younger men. Why do some people have a problem with that? Perhaps celebrities will help ease the stigma. The French president's wife, Brigitte Macron, is almost 25 years 25? older than her husband. They met when he was 15 and she was his high school. All right, that's called grooming. If she, they met when he was 15 and she's 25 years older, bro, that's illegal. School teacher. Wait. What? That is not good. There should be a stigma against that. What? Maybe these high profile women will help shatter the stigma and normalize the benefits of widening our options when seeking romantic partnerships. After all, at every age, we deserve what our hearts desire. No, no, no. When you are a grown ass teacher and your heart desires Dog, an underage student, you do not in fact deserve that. What am I reading? I'm 37 and my boyfriend is 23. I make upper six figures and own a condo in New York City. Bro, this is just like, this is literally just having a sugar mama, right? But like they made it a different term. It's just young men wanting to like have financially stable older girlfriends. Bro, that's your sugar mama. That's all that is, right? That's just insane. It is insane. It's insane and illegal. At least three of my friends are also dating significantly younger men. One is 32 and has been dating a 19 year old for three years. What? I don't rely on men. To <gasps> what? One is 32 and has been dating a 19 year old for three years? This has to be like some fake Reddit rage bait comment. Three years, 19 minus three, bro. Isn't that 16? You should call the police. I'm so confused. To be financially stable. I don't need my man to have a good job. We both know what we want out of this relationship and we're getting it. You know, honestly, good for this one. Wait, one is 32 dating a 19 year old for three. Oh, oh no. We older women aren't men haters. We have a lot of love and make a man feel like a man. Oh, we are not what? drama queens. We can't get pregnant. <laughs> we are very <laughs> sexy. I'm not like the other girls. I'm infertile. <laughs> men dating older women is called hag maxing now. Why can't men just be normal? Why does everything have to be misogynistic? No, 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 no. It's not misogynistic. The term hag here is endearing. We're taking back the term hag. It's like when black people took back the N word. There's something seriously disgusting about men taking advantage of women's loneliness for their resources. So when it's a younger man dating an older woman, the younger man <laughs> is still the predatory one? What? You guys just cannot win. Really? This is so disgusting. 34 is not old. I am I'm not, not a hag. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Some random woman on the internet getting upset about hag. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like hag has never been like a great word. One day after my 30th birthday, I'm gonna have a hag celebration stream, all right? All right, be ready. I'll see you guys in, in five years. Okay, so we've heard from the hags. Now let's hear from the hag maxers. Why are these young men dating older women? I have mommy issues. Oh, well, there has to be other reasons, right? I have a granny fetish. Come on, th what? there's gotta be another reason. Because Gen Z women aren't worth going for. And I have mommy issues. <sighs> To be honest, as a guy who's 22 dating a 36 year old, I think for the most part, older women are just a lot less drama and just more mature. Yeah. Older the better. Most have a car, a house, financial stability, and time. They are mature and can teach you some valuable lessons, wisdom, and experience. 
I'm still 19, and for me, older women I flirt with at bars and clubs are much more receptive and flirty than Zoomer girls. Honestly, it's partly because modern Western girls from 18 to 25 are like 80% hosed now. now. A woman who is 30 today likely has fewer partners, sexual or other, than a woman who is five years younger than her. I changed my Tinder age range from 20 to 25 to 30 to 39, and have been going on more dates than ever. Chat, I changed my Tinder age one time to 40 plus. And I'll tell you one thing, these were not like, these women are so mature and sexy and nice. The 40 plus year old men were creepy, terrifying, and completely out of line. I talked to one guy for a date and he he literally said, I, I want you to wrap your little legs around me. And I was like, whoa, 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 bro. <laughs> Old men are just creepy, all right? Older women are just hot. Sounds about right. I mean, it is a 40 year old on <laughs> Maybe I did that one to myself, guys. That was my fault. <laughs> Ever before with beautiful women who do not care that I don't make six figures at 22 years old. It's either take care of a younger woman who we know is potentially a flight risk or appreciate an older woman who has their own shit together. George W. Bush married an older woman to get that money. <gasps> I don't think George W. Bush should be a role model for anything. Easy, good sex, intellectual conversations, less games, more fun, and they treat you nicely. They tend to be more- Intellectual conversations? Never in my life. I'm sorry, young men. But never in my life have I gone on a date with a younger guy and had intellectual conversations. <laughs> We, we've been watching memes and reacting to men and women memes the last few days. There's not a lot of intellectual things going on. <laughs> you don't talk about the Apex meta? Yeah, when I go on my dates, we talk about the newest game metas. I'll change your world, baby girl. All right, I'm playing the video because of that. Grounded. Did I mention the sex part? Oh, and if it's post-menopause, even better. If girls can date older men, then why not younger men date older women? I'm 16. Post menopause, bro? That's like 50. Isn't that like 50 plus? How old of women is he dating? And I'm not attracted to anyone below 30 years old. Ah, yes, the elusive reverse pa file. Dating a woman with a career, <laughs> property, experience in bed, and life. What's not to like? Young sluts want the money up front. Old sluts are just happy to get some attention. Older women fed me, slept with me, and sent me on my way with snack packs. Legit amazing. I'm 26 now dating a 38 year old after years of trying with women my age and younger. They are all social media obsessed narcissists. I feel like they're hyping up millennial women too much here. Oh, they're not narcissists obsessed with social media. You guys weren't around during the MySpace days. <laughs> Have you ever met a Gen Z woman? Who would want to date them? They're me, 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 give me, 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 take care of me. Man, if the ones my age ain't loyal, might as well. They're basically like a grandma caring for you and taking care of you. You know, I think that if you're dating people and, and they all want like money or like they're a hoe or whatever you want to say, you're just dating the wrong people, man. You're just looking the wrong places. Oh my God. Nothing like a no denture adventure. You people are sick. No, I don't believe this is happening more than ever just because Gen Z men like easy sex or gifts. Or that Gen Z women are too obsessed with drama or social media. No, I think there's more to it and I have a few theories. So as we talked about uh, before in other it. videos, a lot of men are dropping out of college. The yeah. issue is a lot of young college educated women want college educated men. Yeah. See, Stacy is looking for someone college educated who's making more than her. But not that many young men are on that level yet. Older men are, but not many around Stacey's age. But you know who doesn't care? Karen. Karen doesn't <laughs> care about your lack of college degree. Karen wants to pick you up in her 2013 Toyota minivan and bang you in the back seat, then take you to Olive Garden. No strings attached, unlimited breadsticks. For basically all of human history, the most prevalent age gap was older men and younger women. Yeah, but Olive why? Garden. Well, it's because men are all disgusting creeps who should be thrown into work camps and castrated <laughs> and forced to make us pumpkin spice lattes. But also it's because younger women are more fertile and the whole point of relationships is to make babies, or at least it used to be. Well, at least in our lizard brains. That's the whole point. I don't know what the point of modern relationships are anymore. I just learned recently that people purposely get into short-term relationships, which is bizarre to me, like what's the point? As well as situationships and polycules. The world is very confusing. It turns out people 
are different than me. Now, let's be real, hagmaxing simply does not make any sense from a evolutionary biological standpoint. But it's 2024, we have surpassed the need for evolutionary biology. We could grow babies in pods and also kill ourselves in them. <laughs> Our brains are full of plastic now. Men wanting to be with younger women made sense when babies were the goal, but babies don't seem to be the goal anymore. Everyone is terrified of babies. You wanna know why people don't want babies, chat? One, they're scary. Two, they cost a whole lot of money. For many older women. In this economy, chat, a baby? Who simply don't want to have them. And for many younger Gen Z men who think they can't afford them, or even worse, are scared that having kids will contribute to climate change. It's like every other week I see an article, fear-mongering Gen Z, don't have kids, it will increase the carbon emissions, blah, 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 you have to save the planet. And first of all, I gotta ask, who the fuck we save in the planet for if not future generations? So if Gen Z does not want kids, if they think they can't afford kids, why does being with a fertile woman even matter? Might as well date an older woman. Might as well scramble those rotten eggs oh uh -huh. editor <laughs> edit that out edit that out no but believe it or not, hagmaxing is not really a new thing. It's been around for a really long time, hundreds of years even. In fact, there was a very famous hagmaxer in American history who wrote an oh. entire letter of why it's preferable to sleep with an older woman. And that hagmaxer's name? Benjamin Franklin. What? What? <laughs> Why, why was Benjamin Franklin trying to get into people's business? Why was he trying to tell, tell people <laughs> to date older women? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Benjamin Franklin literally wrote about the benefits of hagmaxing. And what's this, this country was founded on real values. Yes, real American values, hagmaxing. Funny is a lot of the reasons Benjamin Franklin gives are the same reasons a lot of the Zoomers who hag Max give today. Because as they have more knowledge of the world and their minds are better stored with observations, their conversation is more improving and more lastingly agreeable. Because when women cease to be handsome, they study to be good. So basically she can't rely on her looks anymore and has to develop a personality. Because there is no hazard of children, which irregularly produced may be attended with much inconvenience. Because through more experience, they are more prudent and discreet in conducting an intrigue to Bro, prevent suspicion. Music. They're easier to <laughs> cheat on your wife with. Lovely, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The so face proud of first my country. grows like so and proud of my country. and the neck, then the breast and arms, the lower parts continuing to the last, as plump as ever. Benjamin Franklin really just said, the ass is still fat. Incredible stuff from our founding fathers. I will literally never be able to look at a picture of this man the same again. This is no longer the guy who discovered electricity. No, this is the great American hag maxer. <laughs> so basically some Gen Z guys have found a hack in the male loneliness epidemic by dating the women who are suffering from the female loneliness epidemic. Like the two Yo, unwanted that's ends true. of a bread loaf coming together to make a sandwich. Beautiful. Two people who believe they are the leftovers of society. Two people using each other to temporarily numb the pain. Or maybe it's not that fucking deep and it's just a funny meme. To be honest, I don't think this is an epidemic like the internet makes it seem like it is. Yeah. All the data basically says that women prefer to date men slightly older than them. Yeah, Loki, I feel like this is all just like a big joke. I feel like this was came about because there's so many like, I don't know, like hot older woman in like anime. She literally said this is a VTuber and anime term like that we use it a lot. It's because little weeby 20 year old guys see like hot, hot anime dummy mommy and they're like, I want that. It's not real. It's an anime based. Older women are the best. You're just old or around the same age as them and men tend to date women younger than them or around the same age as them. Large age gaps, for the most part, are rare. In relationships where the man is older, he's usually only older by one to two years. Ah, In relationships where the woman is older, two to three years. 
In all Western countries, only 8% of couples have an age gap of 10 or more, and couples with a larger age gap have more of a chance of getting a divorce. Ah. But it is a rising trend to think about and keep an eye on. As the social landscape continues to change, so will gender dynamics, and I find that very interesting. But that's enough of my yapping. What do you guys think? What do you think of hagmaxing? Have you ever hagmaxed? Would you hagmax? Personally, I am married to someone younger than me. He was graduating middle school while I was was going into college. <laughs> Well, to be clear, uh, I did not know him when he was in middle school. I am not married to a middle schooler. <laughs> not a groomer, folks. Do not put in the newspaper that I am a groomer. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link down below. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of information to take in. I'm proud to say I am officially educated on the term hagman. Ha <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm officially educated on the term hag maxing. I can go back to my VTuber Twitter and understand all the hag jokes now. I like shoe on head though. She's funny. I like watching her videos. We'll have to watch more of them. Okay, chat, what's your opinion on hag maxing? You guys into it? My chat is like 95% men. Let's hear it. Her memory is already gone. Bray's already becoming a hag. I have multiple symptoms of a hag. It's just dumb. I'm actually not. See, I feel like low key. I'm too old to hag max. I get it, but probably not. Can't say the cross. The, can't. F fuck! I feel like it is literally like the only people who are actually using this term are like 21 year old guys who dropped out of college and they're on League of Legends all day. That's who this is for. No, no disrespect to them. Okay, you're doing great. Keep keep on doing your grind. Win those League games. 